Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to be showing you how I made my hybrid fretless guitar neck. Um, bonkers idea, I know, but I thought I'd give it a try, see what it was like. Um, I've seen videos on fretless guitars, and I didn't want to have a whole fretless guitar. I just wanted to have just over half the guitar fretted so the first 12 frets will remain and then the on this guitar neck the remaining uh, 10 frets sorry will be removed so if everything above the 12th fret will be fretless so this is how i did it um, you can hear it a bit later on you can skip all this nonsense if you want to um that's up to you this video does have chapters like most of my videos do so you can go ahead and do that so i'm just adding some water to the fretboard just to make it soft so that it minimalizes fret tear out although that doesn't really matter because you know this is just an experiment and um, I can always fill in the uh, frets the fret slots afterwards if I don't want them anyway um, so I this is how I normally do it and I use a great big sharp chisel and just very very gently prise those frets out of there um, obviously what we're gonna have to do as well because it's uh, you want to get the string uh, action as low as possible I think um, we're gonna have to file down all those other frets as well but we're gonna come to that in a second um, so yeah just whip them all out and I'm gonna keep these frets because I can use them uh, to repair some other guitars as well which needs some frets to replace so that's a bonus as well so just clean that up look I made a clean spot uh, on that neck this neck was uh, in a shed uh, along with my LED guitar neck um, it's the same kind of neck I think anyway this is my 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 beam, my sanding beam, um, just some P80 sandpaper glued to a uh, very very straight piece of wood. There, um, what you haven't seen is I have made sure that the neck is straight. I've done the truss rod and measured this and everything. Obviously, this isn't a how-to video on, on how to do this stuff. You can see much better videos on how to level frets and stuff like that. Um, but this is what I did. So I brought, I wanted to bring the frets down as low as I possibly could to get a nice low action so that when we're on the uh, the fretless side of things it's not miles away from the fretboard if you catch my drift so I'm just filing them all down with uh, my P80 on a stick <laughs> um, and that's obviously going to leave them all very very square and very flat so then we're going to crown them all uh, which is easy done I have a uh, tool for that which you'll see in a second um, so yes, I'm satisfied at that point that they are low enough, and I just checked them all with my fret rocker to make sure that they are all level, and they are all level. Uh, very, very good. Very easy to do. Um, all these tools are available on Amazon. I won't leave a link because I'm not affiliated or anything like that, but I've got all these, this stuff cheap on Amazon. It's all very, very decent stuff. Um, and I've got my uh, my fret guard and my crowning tool. I used to do it by hand, but um, I say by hand. I used to just use a, a file and just round them over but this is so much easier just having one of these and just uh, make sure that they all come to a nice rounded finish if you like I don't know anyway um, so this is what I'm doing here um, so we're gonna skip on past all of that you know, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's just ridiculous um, like I said there's other videos on this sort of thing um, not this and then um, I just uh, got some went through some grit so 320 grit uh, just polishing up and then I ended up all the way down to 1000 grit uh, which I always do so I start with 320 and then go up to like 600 and then blah 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 and so I get to about 1000 it's usually usually good enough for me and then I'll, I'll use some polishing compound as well um, and go this way with the sandpaper as well so when you get to the lighter grades you can go uh, this way as well uh, just helps round off all those edges if you like um, and polish them up real good and then I'll get some tea cut I always use tea cut on my frets it's really good stuff and I'll just polish them up like that really and that's it and they come up really really well they always do um, very good anyway uh, as you can see there you go all nice and shiny and crowned and blah, blah blah and then I took the P80 sandpaper all over the neck because it's got this horrible finish on it which I don't like it's like really nasty kind of cheap horrible whatever it is on there so I wanted to get all of that off and there's some gl uh, glue residue as well and on, on, on it's not it's not a good neck uh, which, which is why I don't mind doing these things to it so I give it all the sand off and then do my fret ends with my trusty block 
which I always use as well. So I went all over it. I wanted to bring a little bit of the, uh, take some of the meat off of it as well, because it's like a, it's a bit, it's a bit of a baseball bat. This neck, um, I don't know what it was off of, and then doing my ends with my trusty block. And there you go, some lemon oil, of, of course, and come up really nice. It's uh, some of the best fret work I've done. <laughs> I think looks really good to me. Anyway, you might not think so, but I do. Um, anyway, so then um, I needed a guitar to put it on. Uh, I thought, crikey, I don't have a guitar body in the house, so, or in the workshop, um, I got the old switch whore out. Uh, I thought, well, this is this could be a good guitar for it because this guitar is ridiculous, anyway. And this has uh, been been the res the result of many experiments with wiring and things like that. Uh, you can see videos on that on my channel. It's called the switch whore. Um, but the uh, the heel on this neck is massive, and it brought the uh, the whole thing up too high for the the trem system it was on there so i put this wrap around uh on there which brought it all to the to the correct level um i'll, I'll tidy that if this is going to stay on there i'll tidy it all up later but this is what it looks like at the moment interesting huh now what does it sound like now? let's go have it folks my fretless hybrid guitar neck on this crazy crazy guitar um, down here it plays absolutely gorgeous <laughs> uh, because of these really low frets now I, I absolutely really dig that I might have to do that on some of my other guitars <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but above the, the the 12th fret, obviously, we've got no frets at all. So, um, bends are, are out of the question. You can kind of, like, get... It's, it takes a lot of effort to do a bend, but you can't really do proper bends. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. And you have to be really precise. You kind of have to play the note on the uh, fret line, on the fret groove, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's very, very easy to... You only have to move slightly, and it goes up and down the notes. So, still play scales on that. You, know, it works. you just have to be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. It is tricky. Um, but I'm going to play around with this some more. I think I'm going to keep it on here. Um, I really, really dig it. Um, and I'm going to experiment more and practice with it more. Um, I don't think I'd ever use it live in a band. I'd, I'd, it depends. If it was uh, relevant for a song, maybe I would. Um, but for studio stuff and recording and experimenting, getting those... Because you can get those lovely kind of... It's, it, 
doesn't quite sound like a slide guitar, but it's sort of something, you know? It's definitely got that blues-esque, bluesy-esque kind of sound to it with lots of gain. Um, anyway, I dig it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. We're nearly at 6,000 subs, and when we get to 6,000 subs, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a cigar box guitar and some CDs, maybe some guitar strings, stuff like that. We'll do it on a live stream. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and all that kind of stuff. Uh, all the links in the description. Anyway, um, not much more left to say except I need to go to bed. I'm knackered. Uh, peace. Till next time. Here's a jingle. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. Till next time.